Welcome to Automation HQ Product Tour, a scriptless test automation platform where you can develop test automation scripts and run them on different browsers. First, let's explore the home page. Once you log in to Automation HQ, you'll see your organization and the projects assigned to you at the top. You can also create new projects, invite new users, and watch demonstration videos. We'll be adding more exciting stuff to the home page soon. In the left pane, you'll see several tabs where you can develop test scripts, record elements, create groups of test suites, run them on test bots, etc. Let's explore the tabs one by one. Let's see how to create an automation test script. To create an automation test script, first you need to create an element library. An element library is where you add web and mobile elements. Click Test Development. Click Element Library. In the element library, you can create web and mobile applications. You can also add a page where you register different elements with ID, XPath, CSS, etc., followed by the value. Once you create an element library, you can create a test script. Go to Test Scripts to do that. Automation HQ enables you to adapt an agile workflow. In this section, you can create epics and stories. Within the stories, you can create test scripts. Let's see what a test script looks like. We've provided predefined test tabs where you can simply drag and drop to the test steps and add your own values. Once you've added the test steps, you can run it to check if it's running properly. You can also run the test script on your local machine by downloading the test executor agent. When you run the agent and connect, you can debug any script. Run any script and it'll open in the debug mode where each test tab will be tested in your local machine. Test tabs will be marked with a tick when debugging is done. In case of issues, you can stop the debugging and check the issues. Once you've checked that your test script is working, you can change its status from in progress to ready. Next, let's see test suites. Click test suites. Here you can group your test scripts based on how you wish to slice and dice your scripts. Now we'll see how test bots work. Click test bot. A test bot is a specific instance of executing your script in a specific environment. Click add test bot to add one. Let's see a test bot in action. In this test bot instance, we've grouped a few test scripts to run them on a demo environment in one particular grid and then run it on Chrome. After adding such configurations to your test bot, you can schedule the testing in the schedulers tab. You can schedule a test to run on an hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. You can also send notification emails to any stakeholder. They'll receive a status email whenever a test run is completed. Here's how the email will look to them. It has details of the test bot, project, browser, environment, along with performance details and analytics. Further, you can also drill down on test results. If you see too many failures for a test script, you can click on it to see the status, along with more details. Here you can see the entire video of test execution, along with the details of the failed steps. To fix failed steps, simply click Edit Script. Here you can check the failed steps, correct them, and debug them again. You can also mark it as to be repaired, to save it for later. Next, let's take a look at the Analytics tab. Here you can see a graphical representation of the data produced by different tests. You can see the results of the current tests and drill down on the failed steps. You can also see the results of the current tests by epics and stories, along with the comparison of the last five runs of a test bot. Let's see the Projects and Users tab. In the Projects and Users tab, you can manage access to a project. You can assign users and invite new users to a project simply by entering their email. Finally, let's see the Settings tab. Click Global Parameters. Here's where you see global parameters. You can add a custom parameter as well. For example, add a DB URL to use it later in your test scripts. Global parameters can be leveraged in creating a test script so that the test script is not hard-coded and can be parameterized. In the Environment tab, you can add different environments like Demo, Production, Test, etc. The Browser tab is where all the browser metrics are available. We hope you've enjoyed this product tour. Thanks for watching.